So this is the PRS Gen 3. Just got it today. Seems to be a large poster of some kind with a bunch of Magpul parts on the back. All right, I actually haven't even played around with this. But, uh, just got it. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand. So here it is. Looks like the front insert is replaceable depending on if you're going to use a rifle length receiver extension or a carbine length. Alright, sorry for that interruption. So here's what you get in the box. You get the screw for the rifle length uh, buffer tube little installation, installation instructions you get the stock an updated footman's loop with uh, QD uh, sling attachment you get two um, front inserts so one of them this one with the more pronounced cutout is for uh, carbine length buffer tubes and the smaller cutout version is for rifle length buffer tubes. Um, fits in there like this. And what holds that in place is the sling attachment on one side and the screw with the bushing on the other side. So anyway, moving forward, um, on my RPR right now, I have a Gen 2 precision, uh, PRS stock rather, uh, but on mine, I have the JP adjustable butt pad system and an MDT um, enhanced recoil pad. Now, each of those adds half an inch, and basically, the new Gen 3 which comes with an adjustable butt pad system and a thicker recoil pad, although it's not the softest in the world, but it's still much better than the Gen 1. See, I mean, it's it's soft, but just nothing like the MDT or the, like the stock Ruger Precision uh, butt pad. But with the insert for the receiver, uh, the rifle length buffer tube, These are exactly the same length and that length is eleven and a quarter inches. Yeah. So the Gen 2 is almost eleven and a half with the JP butt system. This one is 11 and a quarter. I'm measuring to the bottom, by the way. So lengthwise, it's, you know, it's a little bit longer than the Gen 2. Um, Shape-wise, I know a lot of people are complaining about the looks. They've obviously redesigned the bottom, this part. It doesn't have that slide off cover with the you know plastic rails instead it has m lock slots on, on the bottom i kind of like it i mean i'm not really complaining about it um i was hoping it was going to be a little bit shorter on the length of pull because it has the ability to use uh, the carbine buffer tube because that's so much shorter than the rifle i was hoping they would have made a you know one of these inserts that's a little bit shorter maybe by an inch not much but I guess not. I mean, looking at this piece, I don't see why I shouldn't be able to shave off an inch from the front. I might just do that. I mean, 
even if I mess it up, I could, you know, still use the rifle length. Um, I might dremel off an inch from this as nicely as I can. See if I can make myself a custom one inch shorter Gen 3. But anyway, you guys get the idea. Softer recoil pad. Um, height and cant adjustable butt pad. Two QD uh, slinga attachments. One on the footman's loop and one up here. And we, both of these are reversible. You can just flip them over and put them on this side. Um, still have the adjustable comb height and the adjustable length of pull. If you have monkey arm, uh, ape arms. I have short arms, so I need to figure something out to shorten this thing a little bit. But that's it. Let me know if you have any questions.